Hey folks, what's going on? Dylan here from Fabrication Guy, and today I want to explain to you which plasma cutters I recommend for knife makers. Say you got a piece of 1084 steel and you got some stencils that you want to cut out, what plasma cutter is going to be your best value for your dollar. So in today's video, I'm gonna break down some of the features that I think are really important to people who are making knives and talk about some of the different price points that you can expect to buy machines and what kind of features you're gonna gain by going a little bit more expensive and then a lot more expensive and we'll go through the whole spectrum. All of the machines that I'm talking about in this video will be linked down in the video description on Amazon if you wanna see the machines that I'm referencing. I'll have those links down below. So in general with plasma cutters, you basically have two categories. You have the category category of machines that are made overseas um, from brands like Prime Weld or Lotos. And these machines are typically less than $1,000 and are a really good value, but their components and their build quality are, you know, things that you would find made in China. They're not as good. And then you have machines that are made in the US that are a lot more expensive. We're talking three to four times more expensive, but the build quality is really high, really durable, and they're made for professional use. A majority of people who are gonna be doing hobby knife making, unless you're a professional, are gonna to wanna to buy a machine that's made overseas because the cost savings is very significant and the performance is almost on par with the other machines and you can really get a lot for your price. One of the very important features for knife makers that you're going to want in your machine is pilot arc. Pilot arc allows you to start the arc of your cutting torch without it actually touching the tip of the metal. Now I do a lot of metal artwork like sculptures and stuff like that and pilot arc really comes in handy because I'm able to shave off little edges and get really clean cuts and do really fine detail. And for you knife makers out there, that's gonna be a really important feature to you because it's gonna allow you to slightly shave off pieces of steel with your plasma cutter arc and that's gonna give you a lot of control and really get on that line of your stencil and that will reduce any amount of time you know at the grinding wheel or sander or whatever you're using uh, to get your kind of finished cut it's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of money and consumables uh, by getting the closest cut possible so i highly recommend that you get a machine with pilot arc so when we're looking at pilot arc machines if you're getting a, a machine without pilot arc you can get something like the prime weld uh, 50 amp here and it comes in right around 300 bucks but i really think it's worth it to spend the extra hundred dollars and get the prime weld 50 amp this is the cut 50 dp and that p stands for pilot arc okay and with this machine you'll have pilot arc you'll have a lot more control now in terms of brands why do i recommend prime weld well there's a, a lot of different brands out there that rebrand the same machine. The Cut 50D and Cut 50DP machines are made by a variety of brands and rebranded. They're kind of mass produced. However, Prime Weld is the company that I recommend you buy from because they are the same price as a lot of the other companies, but they come with a three-year warranty that's based in the U.S. And if you have any problems with your machine, they pay for shipping. Their customer support is really, really good. And that three-year warranty is unmatched by any other brand. Brand. So when you look on, on Amazon, you'll probably see the Lotos LTP 5000D, which is the identical machine. It just looks a little bit different, but it only comes with the one year warranty. So that Prime Weld Cut 50 DP comes right around 400 bucks. It will do everything you need. You know, typically you're going to be working with a sheet of like 1084, you know, maybe quarter inch thick. This machine has plenty of power. This machine will make a clean cut on half inch, all right? So gives you plenty of capacity, should be more than enough in terms of power. And keep in mind, that's if it's used on 220. So you have to be running 220 power to get that kind of performance. But this machine is dual voltage as well. So if you don't have access to 220 in your shop, you can go ahead and hook it up to 110 with the pigtail adapter, and that will allow you to cut up to quarter inch. It really helps to have 220 because you get access Access to all of that power but if you absolutely don't have it this machine can still work on 110 which is nice I'm also a huge fan of prime welds torches I think their torches are a lot more heavy duty and better than some of the brands out there uh, this specific machine already comes with the standoff guide so that if you're tracing a stencil you can use it so that you're just focusing on the actual line of the stencil you're not worried about how close or far you're pulling the torch away from the metal some people prefer that some people just prefer to use freehand with no guide that's up to you but it is included and the torch on these are really nice because they have a nice big trigger button on the bottom so when you're wearing welding gloves it's really easy to 
activate the torch. Some of these cheaper brands have these really small little buttons either on the top or the bottom, and you can't even feel them when you're wearing your welding gloves. So Prime Weld really does it right, and it's well thought out with the torch. So without a doubt, the Prime Weld Cut 50 DP is the way to go best bang for your buck, right around $400, that three-year warranty, and it's gonna serve you really well and get you that precise cutting that you need for your stencils. Um, I'll post a link to it down in the video description. I'll also post links to the LTP 5000D if you wanna read reviews and check that out as well. Like I said, I still recommend the Prime Well, but I'll put it down there for you as well. And then the last machine that I wanna talk about is if you have a really big budget and you're looking for a professional grade machine, the Hypertherm PowerMax 30 XP is going to be the high-end, top-of-the-line, made-in-USA machine. These machines are awesome. We have reviews on our channel of this thing. It is very powerful, and it actually comes with fine-cut consumables from the factory. They send you a box that has fine-cut consumables in it, and that will help you make very, very precise cuts. Those precise cuts are gonna be better on thinner material. If you're cutting something like quarter-inch, you're better using the regular consumables, but still, the PowerMax 30 XP has some of the cleanest cuts that we've seen in a plasma cutter, and it is really, really nice. So if you're gonna jump to that professional grade, I think the PowerMax 30 XP is a fantastic option, especially if you're working with steel that is half inch or thinner. This machine will do everything you need it to do. And it's a very compact package. This thing is really small, so it won't take up a ton of room in your shop. Small enough that you actually don't even really have to have like a cart or a dedicated cart area for it. You can just pick it up, put it in a cabinet, and it's really small and it has a nice long torch lead so it makes it really easy to use. This machine is also dual voltage and comes with the pigtail adapter that you need to do 110 or 220 but once again if you're on 110 expect to cut quarter inch steel maximum that's, that's going to be your maximum thickness so it's going to go pretty slow not not too slow but it's going to go slower than if you were to run 220 which your maximum thickness on that is probably just over half an inch with this machine to get a nice clean cut. So I hope this video was helpful for breaking down the different options and price points. If you guys have any questions on plasma cutters and different features or brands or anything like that, feel free to post them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you as fast as I can. I appreciate you guys watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys.